These are the seven things that your I am presence wants you to know. So let's begin. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sylvia Salo and I help light workers and star seeds to remember who they are. And I help them on their ascension journey and in embodying Christ consciousness and sovereignty. And in this video, I want to talk about your I am presence. Your I am presence is that closest aspect of you to God. When we say that some part of us is infinite and perfect, we refer to the I am presence. I made another video where I am explaining in more detail what I am presence is. So I'll link it here for you. And let's begin. The first thing that your I am presence wants you to know is that a lot happened for you to be in this incarnation and even for you to be in the third D. So many things needed to take place. It wasn't like an easy process. And so your I am presence is asking you to honor your life and to honor yourself. Because when you honor yourself in your life, you honor God. Because God is that life. It's light and life. And so when you honor the life you have, and the life in other people and animals and all around you, you are honoring God. You are bringing that sacredness into this relationship between you and God. Life is that thing that you should honor and you should honor yourself because you are a part of life. So honor everything living. Honor everything that contains spirit and soul. Because that's that kingdom of God. And you are a part of it. So honor yourself, honor life, and then you will honor God through your demonstrated action and the sacredness in your heart. You honor God. The second thing that your I am presence wants you to know that within the higher heart chakra is hidden a divine spark. This divine spark is your connection to the I am presence and to source. We had this spark activated and awakened in some of the previous golden ages, but then we lost it. And in this life, we have the opportunity to reactivate it. And if you want to learn more, I did a masterclass just on this topic, on activating the heart, connecting to the I am presence. I'll leave it down in the description box for you. The third message from the I am presence is that your I am presence has created a golden path for you. So from the perspective of your I am presence, you were streaming down the dimensions, the levels of consciousness as you were descending to eventually arrive in the third dimension. And between you and your I am presence, there is this golden thread the golden path. When you follow this golden path, you are ascending. That's the way of ascension. So tune into that golden path. Again, you can access it through the heart. When you are on that golden path, this is when you have those synchronicity. When you see those numbers like 11, 11 and so on, it means you are on that golden path. That's when you are aligned, when you are ascending. So you want to stay in that fall. Also, everything on that golden path is going to empower you and remind you of your sovereignty. This is how you know that it's that ascension journey, ascension energy. And so there is this link between you and your I am presence. You just have to tune into it change your consciousness, change your energy a little bit. Sometimes you just have to fine tune it a little tiny bit, or you have to activate your energy in the right way. But always find the golden path. The next thing that the I am presence wants you to know, you are not alone. In your higher heart chakra, you are connected with your soul family. You are always connected with them. Even if you haven't met them yet, you are always connected. And so this separation is just an illusion. 
when you feel like you haven't met your soul family or you haven't created a soul tribe in your life, just keep going deeper into your heart. The more it awakens, the sooner you will meet your people. And also it's like with how you found this YouTube channel. Because I know that many of you know each other from different lifetimes. At least this is something I saw with my clients. And from the comments that you are leaving here on this YouTube channel, I can tell that there is a resonance between you. So you are always connected to your soul tribe. Don't believe that you are lonely and isolated. You've never been. You, you cannot be. <laughs> you cannot be. Let's put it that way. The next message from the I am presence is to go within. Because inside of you, there are doors and portals to different dimensions. So if you want to ascend, you actually need to go deeper. And I mean it quite literally, like the more you go into your consciousness, the more you know yourself, the more you will open up quantum doors, leading you into higher consciousness, allowing you to ascend. So that which you seek is inside of you. There is everything you need to know. You just have to learn how to access it. That's it. Once you know how to access it, it's just you keep opening those doors and you are accessing it. You've been accessing it. Just continue doing the right things. Look within. Work with yourself. Really get to know yourself. There is a map within you. Follow it. The next thing that your I am presence wants you to know is that on the way of descending to get into the third dimension, you have experienced the fall, fall of consciousness. And there are many deep soul wounds resulting from it. Even if you don't remember it consciously, your soul remembers. And actually, I have noticed that many people don't want to remember because they know that they would have to tap into these soul wounds. And they would even remember when the uh, consciousness was falling and when their bodies were becoming denser. And so a way of protecting ourselves from it is that we don't look into the direction, we don't remember who we are. So your I am presence asks you to heal the wounds of descending, of that separation, of that fall of consciousness. Because this will help you then to ascend again, once there is no this pain and those obstacles, those challenges, you will be able to find the right frequency and really align with your I am presence. And the last thing that your I am presence wants you to know, this divine spark that you have is connecting you to Source, to God. And when it's activated, then you know your purpose, you know your mission. And so you don't have to worry about figuring out your mission. It's something that will come to you. Your mission will be clear to you. Just work on working with your higher heart chakra. Think of rekindling the flames within the heart chakra. This will show you what you are supposed to do here. And it will help you to really like utilize your energy and time in the right way. Because we are not here to just spend time. We are here to actively and wisely use that time and energy for our own self-mastery. And as a result, this energy overflows to other people. And so when you activate your heart chakra, you will know your purpose. And even if you know it and you are not very clear, like what's the next step and so on, always go back to your heart chakra. It knows. There is a divine spark. Like God source gave to everyone some unique essence. This unique essence and embodiment of it and expressing it in many different forms is your purpose. And so when you are tapping into that essence through activating the divine spark, you will know. You will always know. Now please let us know in the comments below if you know your purpose, if you can sense it, feel it, even if you don't have that absolute clarity, just say yes if you can feel it. And also please make sure to check the description box below where you will find more resources. 
And also I recommend watching my other videos on the difference between the soul, the higher self, the I am presence and about the higher heart chakra. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you and see you next time.